The health of a community relies on many different aspects, and it helps immensely if you have a place where you can buy your supplies that doesn't take you halfway across the world. Much like the case with local shops that provide services that are useful to certain communities. But what happens when those shops suddenly close down? Any idea what happens? Businesses are also suffering as we are seeing banks pull back on their lending as layoffs and bankruptcies continue to grow throughout our economy, something that is sadly going to become much more of a norm as this year continues. Now, my question is, what are you guys doing to prepare for this downturn? Another norm that we may see much more of are customers that are looking to continue to pull out their money and investment from different institutions, one of them being a large bank. Which bank? I'm talking about Bank of America and how clients just pulled billions of dollars from there recently. That does not look like a good sign. And some say that it shows just how fragile our banking system is at the moment. Do you guys agree? Now, before I continue, please do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. It really helps out a lot. And if you're in need of your daily dose of the truth when it comes to the economy, the stock market, the housing market, social security, SSI, SSDI, and what's going on in Washington that affects us, make sure to subscribe to the channel and for the very best way to invest in gold or silver hit the link in the description down below this video so there are pros and cons of certain big businesses and these corporations that completely envelope a particular area of our city now the good thing is that this usually leads to lower prices as stores like walmart and target they compete for the bulk of customers lower prices lead to more foot traffic now the bad thing is that this also tends to take out the mom and pop shops that can't afford to compete with walmart and target's prices now if you have a small business you probably can't buy enough bulk the way that these big retailers can afford to do. And even if you could, you might not even have the warehouse or capacity to store it all. Therefore, you know, these bigger companies, they get the bigger discounts and they can, of course, provide goods at a better or discounted price. But what happens when these retailers just suddenly leave? That's the question, right? You've gotten used to a particular budget that anything other than that will basically destroy your finances. Well, this is exactly what's happening in different areas of our country. So do you guys think that these stores have our best interests at heart? or are they more focused on their profits? Well, as it turns out, profits are clearly much more important, or at least that's how it looks. How do I know? Well, Walmart is closing down four of their stores in Chicago with the reason that their sites are unpro- In a statement from the company, they said, quote, over the years, we have tried many different strategies to improve the business performance of these locations, including building smaller stores, localizing product assortment, and offering services beyond traditional retail. Their mayor, Lori Lightfoot, was very disappointed about the decision and said, quote, unceremoniously abandoning these neighborhoods will create barriers to basic needs for thousands of residents. Walmart also needs to ensure that our residents in these communities that have been left behind will continue to have a reliable source for their everyday necessities. We as a city will do everything in our power to do the same, end quote. Wow, Walmart's just pulling out. Now, just think about this for a second. This is the same Walmart that probably puts smaller businesses out to pasture, but the community is so reliant on them now because maybe they're the only place to go to or, you know, people have just gotten used to the pricing, but the community is so reliant on them now and now they're just kind of taking it away and it seems like a huge loss for the community. These Walmarts, they created jobs, they helped grow the economy, gave them a cheap alternative on goods. And one resident even said that they filled a void in their community only to now take it away. Wow. Do you guys really think that this is merely a profit issue or is there something more that they're just not telling us about? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, since we've already talked about businesses, they're also getting hit hard as banks are now starting to tighten on credit. Two words that economists don't want to say together are being thrown around more and more, and those are credit crunch. Increased spending, the fallout from recent bank collapses, and yes, still high inflation are creating storm clouds on the horizon. Joining us now, Nouriel Rabini, Stern School of Business, New York University professor, Emeritus, thank you for joining me this morning. So I first want to get your reaction to where we are in this banking crisis and the repercussions. I think the worst is still ahead of us. Uh, the business model of many regional banks uh, is broken. They have a narrow deposit base. They have a large amount of uninsured deposits. They have massive losses on their securities. Even the value of their loans is falling. Uh, they have exposure to commercial real estate. And many of them, if you measure it correctly, given the changes in interest rates, are now insolvent. If they have to raise money, not at 50 basis points on their deposits, because people can get 4 or 5% on safe money market T-bills, then you have a problem in terms of cost of funding and value of their assets. So I think that the worst in terms of severe banking stress is still ahead of us. And of course, this credit crunch is going to reduce significantly economic growth, 
the land to SMEs, the land to households, the land to commercial and residential real estate, that credit crunch is going to tip the U.S. economy into a recession later this year. This is kind of like the aftershocks of the earthquake that Silicon Valley Bank started and businesses are they're right down the fault line. Now, let me read you guys the situation that this business owner has. Now, just as a little bit of a background, they make specialty blends of wine and their owner, or I believe she's the owner, Sarah Puel needs to buy between a half a million to a million dollars worth of premium wine by the end of the year. But like I said, SVB, Silicon Valley Bank, they started this earthquake and she's worried that she won't be able to borrow that much capital to keep their business going. Now, the worrying part is that there's a lot of concern that banks and other lenders will pull back so much that our economy crashes into severe recession. Severe recession. Do you guys feel as if we're headed for a hard landing or soft landing? Or are we already there? The fat lady's about to sing, guys, because look at what just happened to Bank of America. Their clients just pulled out $2.3 billion from the U.S. stocks of all sizes, the second consecutive week of outflows from this bank. But why is this even happening? According to this article, quote, the outflows come as uncertainty brews about the staying power of this year's rally in the S&P 500, end quote. The S&P 500 has brought a lot of good things for our 401ks. And with uncertainty in that area, more people who have their investments here, they're now thinking that the good times aren't going to last forever. Much like how a huge chunk of 401ks got decimated last year. Now, I always say, guys, don't keep all of your eggs in one basket. And I feel as if more people are realizing that diversification is the way to go. But what do you guys think? Are we set to see even more of this happening? Will we see big retailers like Walmart and Target continue to close stores? Will more businesses declare bankruptcy because they just can't get any more credit? The future of our economy is sadly a house built on sand right now. And I really don't see it recovering anytime soon, even though, you know, we continue to be fed that everything is going fine. Everything's going according to plan. But hey, what do I know? I'm just giving you guys the facts and the data. It's still up to you guys to decide what to make of it. Now, although it is hard to refute that our wallets are getting thinner and it's not because our cash flow has changed, it's mainly because our dollar has just become weaker due to inflation. Our purchasing power just isn't the same. So it's going to take much more money to continue living the same lifestyle that we've grown accustomed to. Now, if you want to learn more about opportunities to make money off of multiple streams of income, like side hustles and small businesses, or maybe you're looking to invest in real estate or even in the stock market, maybe you want to protect your wealth through investing in precious metals like gold, silver, maybe platinum, then feel free to drop me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Now, before I go, guys, don't forget to drop a thumbs up for the video and subscribe for your daily dose of the truth. Appreciate you guys watching. Please be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys on the next one.